Hello everyone, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 3.10, in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. In this example, we show you how to simulate a mechanical component, that has both, axial and radial laminate orientations. To get a shell model of the part, we start creating a solid tube, by extrusion, with the inner diameter of the final tube, and the outer diameter of the flange. Then, we convert from solid to shell, keeping just the surfaces. Then, we remove the outer surface. Then, we remove the redundant flange. Now, we create two sets, to identify the tube and the flange, separately. Now we enter the lamina properties. Next we need a datum coordinate system, CSYS, in cylindrical coordinates, aligned with the length of the cylinder and the radius of the flange. For a point on the R-axis, selecting 100, means the R-axis will be along X global. For a point on the R-theta plane, selecting 110, means the R-theta plane will be on the XY global plane. Look at the red triad, where Z is longitudinal, R is radial, and T, same as theta, is the angle around Z. The same is illustrated here. X, Y, Z are Cartesian global coordinates. RTZ are cylindrical coordinates. Both sets may be referred as 1, 2, 3 in Abacus CAE, and you are supposed to know the difference from context. Now we build a composite layup for each zone, cylinder, and flange. For region, we use the set that we created earlier. To build the layup, we use the CSYS defined earlier, as reference coordinate system. The normal direction for the laminate, is the one direction, radial, in the CSYS. The angles are 0, 45, minus 45, from the outside of the tube towards the inside, because the normal direction, red color, points towards the inside of the tube. It points inside, because, before assigning a CSYS, we can see that in the element coordinate system, the normal to the shell, red color, points to the inside.
Now we do a layup for the flange. For the flange, the normal to the laminate is 3, longitudinal, as you can see in red color. For assembly, just make an independent instance of the only part we have. As usual, we need a step. While in module step, we edit the field output request, to save the results at 9 section points, 3 per lamina. Now we mesh. As usual, we need a job, to do a data check. When completed, click results. For results, let's see the material orientations. Notice how the red arrow, coordinate 3, is always perpendicular to the surface of the shell, on both regions. Also notice how the other two axes rotate when we switch laminas, 0, 45, minus 45 okay that's it for today if you like this video don't forget to subscribe you can find more details in the textbook by following the link in the description thank you